What's going on guys? Today we're gonna do a different format when it comes to this jersey video. So normally I kind of sit down, do the razzle dazzle. This time, I'm gonna try to handle this as least as possible. I'm gonna end up selling this one and it's a white jersey. I really don't want my filthy paws to ruin this jersey. But we're gonna be taking a look at the Shea Gilgis Alexander Oklahoma City Thunder authentic NBA jersey. So as you can see here, man, it's clean white. I'll give you all the little details and break down the little features of, of what past jerseys that kind of infuse it to create this jersey. This style of jersey in the authentic version is pretty much sold out. But as you can see here, usually when you get it at the big retailers, I got it at Nike.com for 225 bucks. They don't normally come with the sponsor patch. For some reason, this one and the Golden State Warriors authentic versions had their sponsor patches on it from Nike, which is a rarity because they don't normally have it like that. So, um, well, at least I didn't know the OKC one did. So, hey, pleasant surprise. Before we get started, if you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel just by hitting like, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell so when I drop new videos or their sales or new releases, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and get into it. Starting off at the collar, you got a two-tone colorway. Well, mostly one. You can see a little white portion up here, but that kind of just seeps over to the front. This one's kind of off-white, kind of silver grayish. And on the arm openings, you got the same style. So it's a 50-50. You can see that kind of like off-white and the regular white. Then we're gonna go to the NBA logo. So you can see here they add the diamond embellishment for the 75th anniversary. So it's stitched down, sorry about the shadow but it has 75, they use a plastic material, just beautiful in the light. Then we go to the numbering and lettering. So Gilgis Alexander. So on the numbering, what is super sick, you can see the ventilated like twill material. You can see it's like very prominent. You can see the holes, it creates more airflow on the jersey. That's why the players wear it on court. But the coolest feature on this, man, you got triple, triple stitching. So you got that outside layer, which is dope. Then you got an inner layer right there. And on the white trim section, it's white. So you got triple layer stitching, which is beautiful on a jersey. Fortunately, Nike kind of packed it too tight. You can see there's a little creasing. I'm gonna try to counterbalance it and maybe hopefully get the crease off as much as possible. I don't have the greatest technique, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And then we got Gilgis Alexander, single stitched. Sorry, I'm doing it backwards, but very beautiful stitching. And then on the bottom right corner, you got Dry Fit Advanced. So it's pretty much your vapor knit. It, they make little tweaks. It's pretty much the same material as years prior. But that right there is the back of the jersey. And when we go to the front side, the collar is the same style. V-neck collar has that two-tone colorway. See that reinforced stitching right in the middle. And on the arm openings, you got the same style as well. Then when we go to the neck label, you can see it's sublimated onto the jersey. This one's a size large, made in Thailand. Let's knock out these tags really quick. So right over here, 225 bucks. This one is a size large. Pretty much your standard tags. Let's not spend too much time on that. But going down to the Nike swoosh, so this year you got that 75 anniversary Nike swoosh. Super beautiful in the light. Just shines off and it's stitched down as well. Then you got the sponsor patch, so loves that. So it's really bright. It really does stick out on the actual jersey because it's white. Stitched down as well. This is sublimated, like the designs are sublimated but it's stitched down. Then, right over here, so you got OKC running all the way down, OKC. So there's a separate polyester piece right there that kind of just divides it from the like ventilated mesh of the jersey base. So it's like, you see it's prominent, and then it goes to a solid mesh. So this is the OKC, also triple stitched. This is actually a throwback to an old alternate jersey the style they had like the thunder that goes all the way down so they kind of use the same style triple stitched which is beautiful okay see and then you can see there's like horizontal lines on this portion so it kind of like fades upward 
It's supposed to be representing the sound waves that the thunder makes. So maybe kind of like, kind of like uh, how do they measure sound by decibels? Something like that. But it's supposed to represent the thunder sound waves. Then you go right over here. You got another polyester piece that separates the ventilated mesh from like a more solid polyester that runs through. We'll go down to the jock tag, authentic, 48, city edition, and then it has a two length plus two length. The numbering is the same style. Kind of has that dark gray, kind of like silver. Triple stitched as well. It is just beautiful. And that right there, guys, is the front of the jersey. This Thunder jersey design is actually in collaboration with Nike. So they actually had a bigger helping hand in creating this jersey. So with the, they call it the ice white diamond uh, colorway. So this is supposed to like represent the 75th anniversary for the NBA. So it actually kind of has similar colorways to that actual like Nike swoosh that has that diamond embellishment. So they kind of like build the jersey around that like 75th anniversary celebration. So with this jersey, they blend a couple different features from past jerseys. They have that old navy alternate that has thunder that goes down this middle portion here, but now they have OKC. And then the horizontal lines that's supposed to represent the thunder sound. Um, they had that, I think the 2019 City Edition jersey, they had it at a side panel. So, but they're having that design here. But what I really like about the jersey, I'm starting to grow on it because normally I don't like the really white jerseys because I'm biased, I get it real dirty. The triple stitching. Getting single stitching is nice on a jersey. Double stitching, I'm like, yo, that's really dope. Getting triple stitching on the numbering, I'm like, man, that, that is so solid. And the fact that I actually got the sponsor patch, I actually don't mind the sponsor patch. Man, I can't even lie. After seeing it in hand, I'm actually digging the jersey a lot more than I initially thought. I just love the craftsmanship and the little details that they put onto this. And quick fun fact, they're actually gonna be wearing this every Friday night home game for the rest of the season. So. That's a cool thing to know. Like, hey, they're gonna be wearing this jersey every Friday night at OKC. Well, what do you guys think about the jersey? Let me know in the comments below. And hey, thanks again for watching, guys. On to the next video.